So I do enjoy reviewing smartwatches because I've always found a great love for them when it comes to like say the likes of Samsung and Apple. Yes, they're expensive, they do everything you need, but what else in the market out there can do pretty much the exact same for a massive reduction in price? Well, today we're looking at something called the Q6, the 297A smartwatch. Doesn't sound very nice, doesn't have the prettiest name, but I guarantee it's going to be a great video. So let's get into it. This is Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM Key Global. The reason it is so cheap is because it is the back to school super sale. So what we need to do is click on buy now and go to the page. It is currently at £16.74 here in the UK. But if we use this cheeky little discount code, SKJT. And there you go, you have just brought your price down from £16.74 down to £13.39. So what we need to do now is go over the submit order. And then from here, all you need to do is pick your payment type. Then we're going to get this. So as we can see, order submitted, it's paid, it's processed, it's complete. All you need to do now is click that ye little yellow button that says get the key. The one in the middle, which is blurred out, is the activation key. Mine's blurred out, yours won't be, of course. So what we need to do is highlight this and control C. So from here, all we need to do is go over to settings, click on settings. Type in activation, activation, and there we go. So click on activation settings. Your copied link, paste it into here and click on next. Now, what Windows is going to do is check to make sure it is a genuine key. It'll only allow you to activate genuine keys. So click on that, click on next, and it's done straight away. Then all you've got to do is click on activate, and there we go. You've just upgraded to Windows 10 Pro for next to nothing. So guys, this is what we're looking at today. This is a smartwatch for your fitness tracker. It doesn't give me a brand or a name or anything like that. It just says smartwatch. So when I pop the links in the video description, you'll be able to check it out for yourself, of course. But there might be some brand in there where you can actually check it out for yourself. But there isn't actually a dedicated name. It might be on the instructions inside, but we're looking at a smartwatch today. So I'll get everything out and we'll go from there. So my first impressions are that it is pretty much identical to what you would call an Apple Watch. Just massively cheaper. So let's start off. We do have the little smartwatch manual. This is just telling you everything out to get it charging. The app you need to download. All the different things it does detect, all the things it does track and everything. So what we'll do is I'll quickly download the app now, uh, just so I've got it. Uh, I'm not sure what the app is, but go to my camera, scan the QR code. Open in Chrome. And then it's going to tell me it's the Keep Health. So that's all it's called is Keep Health. So that's possibly what the brand might be called. The smartwatch itself might be called that. So what I'm going to do is just while that's downloading, you get about you get a, a lengthy USB cable here. So it's USB to a magnetic cable. I don't know the exact name of these, but they are two magnets either side with two brass pins in the center. This is how you actually charge the watch, which is pretty cool. You get and then you get the watch itself. So when you check the links in the video description, you'll be able to find this and you'll be able to notice that there is more colors you can get. The color that I went for today was the dark blue band and the blue watch itself. So as we can see, we have the watch itself there. On the back itself, we have a few things going on. So we have the two brass pins there, which is going to be for the charging cable. And then we also have the sensor in the middle. This is going to be for like registering your heart rate, your SOP levels, all that good stuff. So that's one thing they take in consideration. So what we need to do is actually get this turned on. So you get a single button on the right hand side, all you need to do is hold that in for a few seconds and then the watch will turn on. There we go, a few vibrations and it's on already. Simple as that. So I've got the app here, what I need to do is open up the app. Click on OK. It's going to ask me if I want to turn all these on, so I'm going to turn them all on. I'm going to click on Allow, Agree and it's going to ask me to create an account as always. So I'm going to quickly do that now. So I've done that, it's asking me a few things, so obviously I want my stuff to do with metric, what's your date of birth, I'm going to pop that in now, don't really fancy you guys knowing when I was born. And then it's going to ask, ask your height and weight, so I am 182 centimetres, and my weight, I'm currently 82 kilos. I click on next, and it's going to t ask me to confirm Bluetooth, so what I'm going to do is turn my Bluetooth on, and then it's going to say, please select your bracelet in this list. So what I'm going to do is click on me again, devices, add a new device. And there's my device there. So this is called the Q6297A. So we learn something new every day. So I'm going to give that a click. Paired successfully. So let's see if this is the right one. I'm hoping it is. What we're going to do is go to device and then we have a few things here. So one minute, I'm going to do a quick screen record just so this makes life a little bit easier. 
So we're going to do a quick screen record just so you can see what's going on. So this is what it is. This is a Q6297A uh, smartwatch. So we have all the different smartwatch interfaces here. So we have multiples to pick from. Um, we have obviously recommended. You've got customized so you can customize your own. But let's go for a recommended one, a quite cool one and a fun one. Uh, let's have a look, see what we got, what we got, what we got. Uh, I do quite like the first one. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to quickly install it. Takes no time at all. That's installed. Oh, no, sorry. It is installing it. You can see it on the watch there. The watch has currently got a percentage on it, as we can see there. But my camera wants to focus. So we've got 20, 20 plus percent, and it's also 702. So I definitely have to admit, for a smartwatch for this price, I can't really complain. It is so responsive and very quick. I really am surprised. So we'll wait till this is finished, and we'll get back to it. So there we go, that is it done. It's already onto the watch itself, so that's pretty cool. Right, now let's go through the actual settings first of the app and then we'll look at the watch properly. So when you first get it to, you get health, so you get your step count, you've got your consum your consumption, your distance. It's got everything from your sport record, to your heart rate, sleep, blood pressure, blood oxygen, drinking water, body weight, and also family health. If we go over the sports, we have all different kinds. So we have basics, which is running, walking, and cycling. So we can go through all them different things. And then we have the device itself, so we can go through notifications. Obviously, if you want notifications through this device, you can from all these different apps. Then we also got alarms, so if you want an alarm set, obviously, if you need to wake up in the morning, all that good stuff. You've got health monitoring, so it'll do your heart rate, time detection. And then we also have health reminders, so that could be anything from your little reminders going on here, or even a drink water reminder. You know, if you have a trouble with drinking water and you tend to forget, it can also remind you to do that. So we go over the more, we have a few things. So we have goal settings. So if you want to do a step count of, I don't know, I'd set to 10,000, which is fine. We have your raise wrist to wake the screen. You have music player control, which I'll turn on. We've got camera control as well. So you can turn that on as well. So if you've got your phone set up to take a photo, you can click that and it'll take the picture. Really is as simple as that. We have our unit settings, so we've currently got ours in metric and the temperature set to Celsius because we're here in the UK. And also device language, obviously depending what country you are from and where you've bought this from. You've also got search for bracelet, so I, what I can do is search for my bracelet and what is happening, it is actually vibrating. So if you are struggling to find it and you've lost it somewhere, you can click search for bracelet and it'll start vibrating. Also gives you a firmware version as well as a factory reset. And then, then you've got all your own details about that as well. So let's put that to one side and we'll talk about the watch. Now I have to admit I really do like this watch. It is actually really nice. It's very slim for the matter of fact of how much we actually paid for this. But you get one single button on the side and then this is the skin we downloaded. So it's going to show us all the information we need. So if I swipe to the left it's going to tell us our activity. Obviously we've got nothing on at the moment because we haven't done anything. It's going to tell you everything about your move, exercise, stands, all that good stuff. Go to there. It's also going to tell us our sleep patterns. So depending how you've slept throughout the night, it'll tell you roughly how much, how many hours you've slept. You have your music control as well, depending on what you've got it connected to. As well as you've got weather control. I know, 26 degrees. Wow. We've got heart rate. And then you're back to normal. We can swipe down for the notifications. Or we can swipe up and we have a few different settings here. Top left, you can see a little phone sign. So we can check the battery out. It says power res power reserve. So depending, obviously, if you're going to be using this for a while, you can put it on power reserve. You've also got brightness. So the more you tap it, the brighter it gets or the darker it gets, which is pretty cool. We have the QR code. So if you don't know where to get the app from, you can just click the QR code on the actual uh, watch. And then we've also got a few things we can add or we can take away. So you've got all these ones with the minus. We can add a calculator. We got BP, MET, pressure. Workout, alarms, breathe, stopwatch, timer. You know, you really do have everything like, say, a traditional watch would have. You even have a torch. So you can turn the torch on. So obviously when it is dark, you can use this to look around the room, which is pretty cool. We have everything about the device itself, like all the different versions, the Mac, everything to do with that. And then obviously back to, oh, back to the torch. Then we also have no alert mode. So this is more like what you would have on your phone or your device, obviously, so you don't want any notifications, which is pretty cool. Now, if I swipe to the right, we do have heart rate, and then we'll just go back through the actual system itself. So I have to admit, relatively a really good bit of kit. So I am going to pop this on my arm to see what it feels like. 
and it does look and it does feel the exact same as what an apple i uh, an apple watch would as well the wristbands are pretty much the exact same and everything so i don't really have any issues with it at the moment um, i'm definitely going to be testing it out for a few days as soon as i get the wristband on uh, testing it out for a few days just to make sure but what we're going to do is quickly do heart rate i'm not sure what my heart rate is set at so i'm going to quickly do that so i currently have a bp of 92 obviously i've been running around the room all day i'm editing videos so that's possibly why but i have to admit it really is an incredible watch the design alone i really do like i have to say it does look the exact same as an apple watch but less of a price and i gotta admit it's a lot easier to use the one thing about the wrist straps as well they're easily interchangeable you've got a little wrist bar there so i can literally just click that and the wrist strap comes out and you can change it you can get these on amazon for literally next to nothing and you can choose whatever color design whether that's silicon metal or leather you have all different designs there i'll pop some links in the description as well but i have to admit this is a massive thumbs up from me so i have to admit it looks the exact same as an apple watch now i've owned apple watches in the past and they're all right don't get me wrong they are great they do everything you need to receive text do this do that do this do that you know there's a load of customizing you can do with them same with samsung watches i own them but i don't wear them i always buy or always use the ones that like companies from off markets will send me them because nine times out of ten they're a little bit better in just what i want them for i don't need to watch youtube on a smartwatch i know fair enough you can but i don't need to so i have to admit i did really enjoy this it does have quite a large screen you can get them in multiple different colors at a reasonable price so if you do want to go check them out for yourself please do check the links in the video description there'll be a link there directly to this one and then you can select different colors from there but if this video did help you in any way shape or form don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further videos I hope you have a great day.